Hi everyone, so today I've got a haul for you guys. Now, this stuff is kind of just a collective haul, things I picked up when I was on holiday. Um, I went into town today and I picked up a few things and then there's one thing that I've been sent. Um, so I just thought I'd show you kind of random stuff, it doesn't really follow any pattern, there's a few bits of clothing, some jewellery, a book, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So, um, first thing I'll start with is from MAC. I actually ordered all of the prizes for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway um, contest which finished gosh a few weeks ago now and um, I ordered the prizes before I went on holiday and I got them when I came back so I actually I only ordered one thing for myself I was like I'm ordering all the stuff for everyone else so obviously I spent quite a lot of money but I really really wanted one thing because I was ordering by phone um, you can order the pro products so I got Show Orchid lipstick. If you don't know what it is, it looks like this. Super, super bright pink with like a blue undertone. It's literally the most beautiful colour. I actually don't know how much I'll really wear this because it's a really, really bright, over the top kind of colour. Um, but I just love it. I'll swatch it for you just any. You can see the colour in the tube. Um, it's an amplified, so it has good colour payoff. Um, yeah, so that's the only thing I got from MAC, but I do love that. And I'll put it back in its box. I don't know why I do that. I just love packaging. Um, what else did I pick up? I'll continue with stuff that I got on holiday. So the first thing I picked up was a pair of earrings. These are actually from Pull and Bear. They're actually quite long. You know, I actually wore these on holiday and they are quite heavy, which kind of isn't great. But I just really like them. I think they're really pretty. I think they're about five euros, or six euros, so about five pounds really, which is pretty good. So I like those. I've been making a real effort to wear more earrings and more jewellery recently, like I said in my last video, I'm not going to repeat myself again. Anyway, I also picked up this skirt from Zara, this is a little bit creased because I unpacked it recently, but it is a little linen skirt, this was in sale for about 12 euros I think, so um, again like 10 or 11 pounds. Um, it's actually very high waisted, so it's not super short, but it comes kind of mid thigh, and I bought this to wear for my graduation. Um, which is next week, so I'm really excited about that. I really didn't know what to wear, and I didn't want to wear black with a white shirt because I thought it might look a little bit kind of waitressy, if you know what I mean. So I'm happy that I found this, and then I'm going to wear it with a white shirt. And I'll move on. I bought some shoes as well to go with it, which are from Dorothy Perkins. Um, I just got these today when I got home, obviously not from Portugal, but they are nude court shoes. And they have a little bit of a platform. I was contemplating whether to ask my family or my boyfriend for some designer shoes, maybe um, for my birthday, because my birthday is also next week. But I decided that I didn't know how much I would wear new shoes because I didn't have any before. So I thought I would go with cheap ones to start off with and see how that goes. And probably if I get some designer shoes, I'll get some more kind of classic colour ones like black or something else. So these are from Dorothy Perkins and they were £35. They're actually quite high but they're kind of easy to walk in because they've got a platform but not too much of a platform, they're still kind of high but um, yeah I like these. They're more of a kind of neutral toned nude rather than, you do get some that are grey and some that are pink. These are kind of in the middle so obviously because the skirt's grey I didn't want them to match but I wanted them to be kind of nude in the kind of theme of my outfit which is greys and nude colours, things like that. So I like those. Um, I just picked those up today. What else have I got? I also picked up this dress, which is from Zara. I'll just get up and show you. just looks like that. It's basically like a denim look shirt dress, but it actually doesn't feel like denim. It's kind of like silky. It's quite weird, but it looks like bleach denim. So I think this was in the sale for 20 euros. So, I don't know, like 18 pounds or something like that. It's nearly nearly one to one, I think it's one one pound is 1.2 something euros at the moment, so just under 20 pounds. Um, I also got, um, all, these, all these clothes are very similar colours, quite neutral, light blues and greys. I also got this t-shirt, this was free with Elle magazine this month, um, and it's a uh, Paul and Joe's sister one. They did Paul and Joe's sister last year as well in a little tank top with ruffles down the front, which I really liked as well. So I'm hoping this is good. It does look like it might be a bit see-through though. I haven't actually tried it on yet, but I thought it looked cute. So they do a few different colours. I think they've got like a red one, maybe a black one. Um, but that's the one. I'm actually subscribed to Elle, so I didn't get to choose the colour, but I think I probably would have chosen this colour anyway, because it's nice. So they're all the clothes that I've picked up. I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm actually reading... Um, I read The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo when I was on holiday and I'm reading the second one in that series at the moment so I picked up the third one 
which is The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. These are actually really famous books anyway, they're like the number one bestseller or whatever. You guys have probably all heard of this, but if you haven't read them already, they're really good. So The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, um, yeah, I really like it. It's kind of like a murder mystery thriller kind of thing, but it's good. And so that's the third one, so I picked that up today as well. It's a pretty hefty book. I also picked up, which I'm kind of excited to try, the new um, Batiste, or one of the new ones, because I think they've bought out two, um, Batiste Shimmering Dry Shampoo. Now, I'm not entirely sure how that shimmery this is. I kind of sprayed it on my hair and didn't notice much difference initially, but I sprayed it on my hand and you can really see the shimmer. So um, I'm going to try it out over the next few days and I'll put a review up on my blog. So um, check that out if you want a review of this compared to the original one, which I do use. Yeah, I think this is 2 99 I just picked this up in Superdrug today. I just saw it and thought, I'll try that, because it's new. They also have a gold one, but I thought silver's kind of, I, I don't know, just, I don't know why I chose silver, I just did. So, um, that's that. And then the final thing that I have to show you guys is some fake tan. Now, I know a lot of you will probably ask why you're going to use fake tan, because you've just been on holiday in your tan anyway. But um, I was actually sent this by Sun Labs, which is an American company. Um, and they sent me this kit with, I think there's a, an exfoliator, a moisturiser and a fake tan and then like a little loofery kind of scrunchy thing. I don't know what they're called, those like things. Anyway, one of those. So I'm kind of excited to try that. I actually get, I think tanning you get addicted to. So even though I'm still tanned from holiday, I'm wanting to kind of fake tan afterwards as my tan fades. I get a bit like, oh, I'm losing my tan. And so I will be trying that soon and potentially doing a review on it to see what it's like. So keep your eyes open for that if you're interested. Um, I know a few people have done Sun Lab reviews recently, but um, I thought I would try them out and see what they're like. So yeah, I think that's all I've got to show you guys today. Obviously I've spoken quite a bit about my graduation outfit. If you want to see that, I will definitely, definitely put a blog post up with an outfit of the day for my graduation to show you guys what I'm wearing. Obviously you've seen the shoes and you've seen the skirt, so um, you might get an idea for kind of what it'll look like but I'll definitely put some photos and a description up on my blog for that so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon bye